All right, welcome back to a General Games playthrough of Marvel Crisis Protocol. I'm here in the booth with Marcus. What's up, boys? And on the table, we have Bill and Max. Let's cut to those boys we and get this, game, this party started. Let's find the right button here. All right, let's uh, make sure we can hear them this time, hey? Bam. You in the boys? Hello? All righty, so we are they can hear us now. in uh, round one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, straight into it. Straight into it. Uh, we've gone through the power phase very quickly. Yeah. I've gotten one power each. It's at the start yeah. of each round. Uh, you go through the power phase. Every single person will get uh, one power. Use that for superpowers, attacks, things like that. Mm. Uh, the missions that we've got today, um, we're trying to find the... Uh, what is he, a Skrulk? Uh, Skrull. <laughs> yeah. Skrull. Skrull. He's a Skrull uh, hidden within the civilians. So yeah. you've got to kind of walk up to the civilian, roll some dice, try and find crits. If you find some crits, you find yourself a Skrulk. If you don't, try again next chance you get. Uh, underneath these two here, uh, plus at either end, uh, we've got some telephones. They're representing uh, the... They are re yeah. representing... The, the, the extremist consoles. Yes. Um, you've got to have the Very more deep. healthy uh, characters than your opponent on top of these or around them within range one mm -hmm. um, to, to take control of those. Each also, of them are just worth victory points. If you interact with them, uh, with the uh, crisis protocol things, what are they called? The extremist. The extremist. That's extremist the one, extremist consoles. consoles. You get to heal some wounds back, which is quite nice. That's very uh, cool. Very important. Uh, just thing. before we continue, guys, Bill, you've got eight power on Captain America. I don't know if that's intentional. Uh, it is not. Thank yeah. you very much for that. Cheats already. Big cheats <laughs> over here. Uh, didn't you know Captain America he gets eight power in this other game? All right, uh, let's crack on, boys. Yeah, All right. sweet. Excellent. Straight so into I it. have the priority, uh, so does. I'm going to be going let's first. Let's go to the top view. Yeah. Um, I'm going to activate uh, Captain America first, speaking of the devil. Respect. Uh, for my first of two actions, I'm going to do a move medium. Mm -hmm. And then, rather simply, for my second action, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to bend him around this corner. And I'm going to do another move medium. Now that I'm within range of the potential scroll agent, I'm going right. to spend one of his power, his only power, in fact, um, to try and figure out if this one is the agent. Now, the way you do this is that you roll two of the standard dice, and if one of them is a critical, that is the scroll agent, and the other two scroll agents disappear. So I'm yeah. kind of hoping this isn't a scroll right now, because <laughs> yeah. if it is, I'm very much on this side of yeah, the board. so here's hoping I get a crit, and we'll just roll for that what, now. Whatever the shortest game ever? No, <laughs> no, no scrolls here. No scrolls here. So Good that is going to be the end of Captain America's activation. I'm going to give him a little tick on his card, just yep. to show that he's been done. Too easy. I'm going straight to Red Skull here. We've got a very simple turn. Uh, he's going to be within range one of... Uh, my little uh, extremist console here. He's going to pop himself here. Uh, and he's going to perform the, uh, what is it called? Uh, cosmic Cube action. It costs zero power. I roll three dice, or is it four dice, sorry? Uh, I roll uh, three dice um, and hope not for bad things. So I'm just going to roll this here. Uh, we got one critical. Uh, you actually roll five You roll five, five, five dice. I roll yeah. two You're looking at the, uh, the three power as that you get. Yeah. Uh, cool. So Cosmic Cube, roll five dice for each skull rolled. I suffer a damage. Uh, I roll no skulls. no skulls. Absolutely wonderful. And I actually get three, three. power for my troubles. Excellent. So he's sitting on four. He's also next to the objective, which is good for me. Uh, that's my activation done. Can you move that power Sweet. over Red Skull's face, please? So I can see it. Thank you very much. Good. But you're missing out on the gorgeous artwork of Red Skull. <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. Bananas. I just want to take this opportunity to point out that that is definitely a Howard the Duck statue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, he's not in the game yet. I've got to, got to have some sort of foreshadowing. <laughs> he is obviously very gold and very much okay, on um, Is that a building he's standing on? He's standing on a, um, on a Games Workshop plinth which has 12 skulls in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the uh, the red, skulls red, of his enemies. Red skull for um, right at home. <laughs> I'm gonna activate uh, Black Widow now. You um, would so movement long. What a great character. Movement long for two thread. Excellent stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna move long again. Um, but I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm just gonna get up so I'm within range one of the center. And again, I'm gonna try and see if there's a scroll agent up in this grill. Gonna spend her one power to do that? I am indeed gonna do that. Gotta find them for me. Gotta find them scrolls. Gotta find them scrolls, baby. Well, hear me out. If she finds this scroll, which I'm kind of hoping, I'm gonna throw a Howard the Duck. <laughs> Please don't throw a Howard the Duck. You gotta throw a Howard the Duck. <laughs> All right, I roll a dice. I did I not did find... Not find can um, Modok throw Howard the Duck? Can he throw threes? He can throw threes, right? Oh, Modok's not a small boy. <laughs> oh, did we did we actually go through that at the beginning? To put, should, should we point out what what heights our uh, terrains are at the moment? Have yeah. we, have the, we so mentioned the bugle that? is three. Everything around that size is three. The stairs, each piece is four. The cars are two. The lampposts are one, and mm -hmm. the, it's pretty obvious from there. Yep. And the characters are two. Can anyone they, throw the bridge? Uh, 
I don't think so in this game. I don't think Modoc so. Modok can throw... You don't have a Hulk? Size 3 or less. And no one brought a Hulk, which is very disappointing. No I love the Hulk. I wanted to see someone Modoc. throw a bridge at someone. <laughs> All right, speaking of uh, big boys, I'm going to activate the biggest of the boys on the table. Mm -hmm. We're going to get Modok moving on forward. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to pop himself uh, up here. We're going to move a bit of the terrain slightly. I'm just going to shift that back. Um, cool. Uh, now, we are probably going to try and whack uh, ourselves... A Black Widow. Now, fortunately, I am within range three, which means I can attack her. Uh, yes. And my sonic blast is actually range four as well. It's a psionic blast, mate. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to roll uh, six dice here as my second action, um, and I'm going to gain uh, power equal to the damage that I'm dealt. For each wild I have, I actually get to drain a power from her too, uh, but she doesn't have any. So we're just going to try and kill her instead. And this is a, uh, a mystic type of damage? A hundred percent. So you Excellent. only have... You have, four, have four defense four. against Black mystic. Widow has wow. four dice. When did that happen? Probably uh, so since quickly. it was designed. Uh, so a couple of things have happened here. Uh, I've rolled a critical hit that actually explodes. So I'm going to add an extra dice into my pool here. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a blank, so nothing there. And you changed the crit. And I change... Uh, no, ooh, you I change the crit. You bought yeah, yeah, the crit over. Uh, I also have a wild, which means that if she does get a power, I'm going to sap it from I'm her. I'm not going to roll my defensive dice, so I have four Look of these. Look at that hand. Yeah. That was, that was, that, very that was a very cinematic roll. <laughs> 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 That's a terrible roll, Bill. Uh, so what I've done is I've rolled no successes. <laughs> uh, very successful. Right, I'll press on, press on. Excellent. Um, so you have to be within range two to turn your... The blanks into blanks successes, into successes. Which I am not. So I'm going to hit you for four damage. Yes. Um, fun fact, that is she's dead. all of Black Widow's yep. health. So, <laughs> so she is going to gain the dazed token. She can no longer contest objectives. And, oh, well, uh, well, that's the wrong one. So I so dealt... Uh, I that one. There we go. Four damage to you. <laughs> Not a great angle. Uh, yes. We'll cut to this briefly every now and again so we can look at it. Uh, yeah. So I dealt four damage to you, so I'm going to gain four power. Yep. Um, because of Red Skull's ability, though, I've dealt damage to you this turn. Uh, I'm actually getting an extra power. So he's yep. currently on six power. Also, yep. because uh, every time you take a damage, you also gain a power. Black Widow will gain four power. Oh, go back to that. Ah! I've got to stop doing that. I keep scaring myself. There we go. Excellent. All righty. Step All right, one done. Yeah. You certainly right. did step the one. Um, what am I going to do now? So, interesting yeah. Interesting to note. Modok is the only character in this game currently that has a mystic attack. Uh, the characters in this game having three defense types. They have physical defense, energy defense, and mystic defense. Right. Black Widow actually has four. She's one of the better characters to uh, defend against mystic attacks. But what is, like, hold Bill on. can't roll dice to save his hold life. Yeah. <laughs> she, is, she is a perfectly normal human being with no particular superpowers. Why does she have better she has protection? Like, she has like a like, Tron suit. That's kind of cool. Why did she have protection against <laughs> mystical powers and people like... Her, her Red Room training, right? I'm going to jump in here, boys, and just say I'm going to activate <laughs> Iron Man. She's gone through a, a lot. I imagine that um, her brain's pretty defensive right now. I'm going to do a yeah. medium move. I don't buy it. Which is, what is her length? I put him over here, yep. Um, yeah, uh, Black Widow actually went through quite a bit of training to get to how she was, and a lot of that was mental conditioning, so it's not too surprising. Ah, oh, so you're saying that the mystic is, is more about a... Yeah. Mental strength as opposed to yeah. like the mental fortitude, magic resistance. Yeah. Yes, I think so. Um, and right. I'm going to do something that seems very familiar at this point. I'm going to spend <laughs> Iron Man's power wherever he's gone. Here he is, and he's going to try and see if there's a scroll agent. Crazy. So um, I have a question. Considering Black Widow has quite high Mystic defense, mm -hmm. uh, what do we think Bucky's going to have? Ooh, a very None. good question. None. None. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he failed. Is he was going to read a book. He's going to be on a rampage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Imagine oh. if there was a team tactic card with the two of them. Yeah, yeah. Are you going right, to crit for me, buddy? Uh, I am not. not. No scrolls here. No scrolls right. here. Have we found uh, a scroll yet? No. We have not, no. no. If we found um, a scroll, there'd be no more objectives. No pay threes. No yes. pay threes yet. Uh, uh, excellent. So the scroll. scroll. A scroll. Not a scroll, a scroll. It's S-K-U-L-L. Oh, I'm going to go with a scroll. You know from that movie? L. Alrighty, I'm gonna uh, main man the shape activate. Shifters, basically. Yeah, yeah. I don't. That oh, really? Is, never, yeah. never seen, never seen a single Marvel movie. Well, I don't know. They're only in one. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna two. activate my main no, man the end crossbones of here. We're just Definitely gonna move. Spoilers. Absolutely nowhere. What do you mean they're in two? You're in fast. Captain Marvel and Far From Home. Yeah, but um, the end of Far From Home. I'd be within range one of this the objective, I believe. You certainly do. Yeah. That's probably not going to happen, unfortunately. Probably not. And with only two, I have a range two strike. Also not going to get me there. All right, we're just probably going to just move. I love the characters can punch range two in this game. They can punch yeah. like t 10 meters in front of them. Hey, oh, man. You it's, gotta, it's like a dive. It's like a lunge. You've got to have their reach. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to be hanging over here a little bit. He's going to get some slow. In the face. Hey, buddy, how we doing? Um, all right, cool. So that... Go back to the top um, of you. Well, we've got some Baron Zemo oh, now. Um, let's just see if we can get him into the action. 
Baron Zemo, one of my least favorite characters, but definitely one of the better characters in the game so far. Very, very What's frustrating. What do you mean yeah. he's your least favorite? Is that challenge. everyone's favorite person that kills Iron Man's parents? We, he oh doesn't kill Iron Man's parents. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, did you know Spider-Man is actually made from spiders? Um, okay, I'm going to spend my first action with Baron Zemo to cheat, apparently. Hang on, get that back. Um, I'll be expected from you. Oh, thanks, mate. I'm uh, <laughs> going to move long with my first action, and then Crazy. I'm going to do some measuring. Let's have a look. That looks like a long to me. That that also does. Um, Sorry. Excellent. So I've just realized that one of our cameras is... It's a little confusing. We didn't notice immediately, but the... Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, keep, keep playing it's the, fine keep playing okay, yeah, yeah. The, cam the players seem to switch sides when we switch camera angles because I didn't realise that <laughs> <laughs> it's fine excellent it's fine. excellent so, okay. well, no, there's, there's very few double ups this game so you just got to see what the characters are yeah that's fair excellent. Um, I'm going to activate Baron Zemo's ability charge now normally this costs 2 power but because I have the Avengers affinity with Captain America the first superpower that he gets to use costs 1 less so it's only going to cost 1 power oofed very happy with that oofed um, charge means that I get to make... You're not going to try to find the Skrulk? I feel uh, like... Uh, the, the what? The Skrulk? <laughs> no, I could do that, but I reckon I'm going to start trying to get some damage on the old... The old... Oh, Modok. Modok. Modok's physical so, defense is trash. It's two. Hey, look, so, he's still Modok, though. He's going to do Modok things. So what happens if they don't find any... No, they will. We, can keep, keep we can keep looking. Oh, you can just keep trying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you a scroll? Um, no. How about now? <laughs> How about now? <laughs> about All right, now? fine. You got me. Uh, Baron Zemo's <laughs> charge superpower means that he gets to make a free move action, which Baron Zemo's move action is long. Are you stressed? Um, and then uh, he gets to make a free attack action. So he's going to go ahead and do that. He doesn't have any power left, so he is just going to use his basic strike called Sword Strike. Uh, it is in within range two. Yeah, I'd say you're within range two. I'm pretty though. comfortably within range two, I think. Look, I'd prefer um, it if you weren't. I get five dice. That's a lot of dice. Um, and if I get a wild result, I also add the bleed effect. All right. So I'm going to roll my five die now against Baron Zemo. Uh, uh, sorry, yes. <laughs> I'm going to roll my five dice now uh, against old Modok. Um, so let's see what we get. So I'll roll some die. Dice. Couple of hits, so you have a <laughs> uh, you have a critical hit here that explodes into another hit. dice. Yes. You can roll yourself another dice. Another die. <laughs> <laughs> Max, you can roll your dice at any time now. Like it's not X wing. Yeah. Uh, cool. Okay, so uh, that did result in that. In uh, now, um, because I am Baron Zemo, he has a passive ability be called strategic uh, genius. Strategic genius, which means I get to re-roll one dice. Now, <laughs> skulls. Let's not take this game, this video, to five hours. Just get yeah. on with it. All right, all right, mate. All right. <laughs> We can explain what happens. You guys just play. Yeah. Run, out, run out of hard or spicy, here, boys. Yeah. Right. Uh, so okay. Nothing, nothing. So it'll be three results. Cool. So I'm going to take... Uh, I rolled here. I'm going to take three damage. Very simple. Three damage. Uh, right. Most importantly, I'm going to take three power here. So did Modog not want to spend any uh, things to reroll his dice? I don't think so. I think okay. my next action is going to be mm -hmm. blow his face off. Yeah, that, that's reasonable. With a giant chair of doom. Yeah. Uh, Modog so with lots of power is very scary. Uh, that's my intention. I am going to get three power because of basic sword strikes do end up uh, giving you some power back for the damage dealt. Yep. So three yeah, power for nice. that. Cool, cool, cool. No wild results, so no bleeds. And then that will be Baron Zemo done. Uh, uh, Max, I believe you have the patch up team tactic card available to you. It is very true. Yeah. I do. I wonder I'm, what you're going to do with that. <laughs> you might be doing some things here, crazily yeah. enough. Uh, I'm just thinking what I'd like to do first. I'm going to move... Uh, my Baron Zemo into some base-to-base -base contact Ooh. over here. Some Zemo and Zemo action. Zemo on Zemo action. My favorite style. So many swords. Um, so I've got that one and right, that one here. Make a hidden Mickey on the table. Um, right, just, just, just because I can, I'm going to draw on this. So we have a, we have a Baron v Zemo. Ba what is it? Well, who Baron is it? Zemo versus Baron, Baron Zemo. Baron Zemo happening yeah. right there. Uh, I just think I'm just going to sword strike. I don't think we need to do any patch-up things here. We're just going to straight attack Baron Zemo with a Baron Zemo. So one, two, three, four. So while that attack's going on, I'm going to explain sort of an overview of what's going on here. So we've got four objectives. Is it four extremist co consoles? Oh, wait. Uh, <coughs> yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. So four extremist consoles, those things are static. They don't move. And you just have to stand near them to secure them. Uh, and you've got a scroll agent hiding amongst some civilians. So we've got sort of a, a, two, a battle on two planes here. We've got, where you've got positioning where you have to carry... Characters have to stand next to the extremist consoles and they're in sort of a diamond shape in the middle of the board. Yep. And then we've got the scroll that will eventually be found and eventually be carried around. So the extremist consoles are worth one point each and the scroll is worth two points to the person holding it. So we can, we can uh, swing along pretty hard with these uh, victory points. Scroll's a person too. You can't hold it's a scroll. A, it's an alien. You can pick him up. Yeah, you definitely you do pick him up. That's, right. that's not okay. These are superheroes. Mm -hmm. That's uh, not okay. You can't superhero or not. You still basic human rights. Earth, mate. Earth, Earth, yeah, it's, it's human rights. Earth has some pretty uh, awkward rights when it comes to aliens. 
Uh, so very quickly, boys, I've just, just done a jump back in. Yeah. Uh, I've activated my one-two punch special tactic yep. here uh, tactic, for yep. the special cost of one power from Modok and one power from Baron Zemo himself. I will add two extra dice to my attack roll. Uh, I've also rerolled one of my dice from being a strategic specialist from Baron Zemo. Uh, unfortunately, I blanked out pretty hard. Yeah, you did. So I did get two wilds, which is pretty good. It mm -hmm. does mean that he will take a bleed, so he yep. will take a damage in the beginning of his next turn. Uh, it's the no, end of it's this end turn, of each so. activation. End of your activation, yeah. End of your activation. So uh, he got a shield and a wild. Yep. Um, so no we unfortunately just kind of did nothing. No damage, but... Ah, hey. oh, well, you will. Well, you won't. Uh, so we'll put <laughs> a bleed get, token yes, on him. I do have my bleed token. I'll throw that on. And you've got Lil there. Spidey Man over there. Oh, Spider's Man. My favourite of all the heroes. It's definitely not Spider-Man. It's not Spider-Man. It could be Spider-Man, but it's definitely hey. not Spider-Man. Yeah, it could be. Who He's who a man of the spiders. Who someone send me a that. picture of a conversion of Spider-Man. I'd love that. I would <laughs> love to see someone build a Spider-Man in this game. That's a lot of effort. But well, they give you the spare head, so maybe you can use that for something. Yeah. Um, uh, I'd like you to not find a scroll. Bill. Yeah, I'm going to go and cool. give it a red hot go anyway. Um... So, because Spider-Man has the wall crawl ability, it means he doesn't need to... He's considered size 5 when going over terrain, so... Yeah, yeah. This terrain being size 4 means he's going to be... So, while Bill's doing that, uh, with moving, Come you uh, here. you can only you can ignore terrain the same height as you... Some, same size as you or less. Uh, wall crawl, as Bill said, makes you size 5 when moving. Normally, a character can climb to be size 5, but he only moves small during that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm also going to do his second move, pop down here, just get some cover, and I'm going to try and find a scroll. All right, here it power. is. Scroll time. So I'm going to take my power Max away. does not want to see a scroll on that I side really of the board. don't. And then I'm going to roll a die. Um, I did oh, get a crit. A scroll. <laughs> that is there a scroll. Is. All right, flip All right. it and remove the other tokens. Let's yeah. press on. Uh, so I'm going to take that token. I'm going to put it on Spider-Man's uh, character sheet. So now that's the only scroll on the board? Yep. Yep. And so, uh, you can now pick it up. Spider-Man has now picked it up. Yep. So I'm going to need to He's kill Spider-Man. Yep. And uh, so this scroll is worth two victory points at the end of each turn, I believe. Yes. All right. Very much so. Uh, so and that is Spider-Man's activation. No. So those are extremist consoles. Ah, oh, right. There's, yep. Every mission has two objectives. Right. Uh, well, the channel. I'm it activate. makes this game really interesting, mm -hmm. actually, because you have like a two-plane victory point condition. Yeah. Sometimes, cool. like a lot of them are static, and sometimes they move. So you can have yeah. two that move or two that don't, and. Is one one usually more weighted than the other? Um, so there's t each play brings different ones. Yeah. And you there's, there's a whole rig and roll. You can look it up your, yourself, but they end up with one red one and one blue one. Oh, okay, cool. And that dictates how much how many points you've got to play the game with as well. Yeah. So some characters are worth more points than others. Like Zemo is only worth three, whereas the Hulk's worth six. Uh, in this game, we're going to be playing seventeen. Alrighty. So, um, we are now in the cleanup phase. Cool. Um, oh, we'll so cleaner. we've, uh, oh, thanks, Marcus. Um, all right, so we get to the end here and we just see how many victory points we have scored. So, uh, no one's on this one for starters, so uh, nothing. Uh, we're tied here, I believe, because I'm outside of one, which made yep. me very, very sad. Yep, so, so we're both nothing trying to secure, nothing uh, You've got there. one over here. Yep. So you get a victory point. Yep. Uh, I've got one here, so I'm going to get a victory point. Yep, so we both get one. Uh, uh and now you have a skull, a scroll, a scroll which gives right you here. two. Yes. So we'll put you blue because you're the Avengers. Yep. Makes sense to me. You're on three. Excellent. Um, we now go through and we uh, we get... Go to cleanup phase. So Black oh. Widow is going to flip over yep. because she is injured. She got dazed during the combat. So she goes to her injured side. Mm -hmm. uh, we remove all the uh, activated tokens from the field. And then we'll jump to the power phase. And so we'll all phase. gain one power from here. Priority also shifts to my opponent. So I had it last turn. It is now Max's. Um, and I'm going to utilize to this very, very well. First. Uh, I'm going to activate MODOK. So what's the current score there, boys? Uh, it's currently three to one. Yes. Three. So you're three? Yes. Yes, Billy's three because he has the uh, skull. Scroll. Scroll. Uh, that's going to change this turn. Only one extremist console each? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so because we're contending one and... Yeah. and yeah. Black Widow um, went for the uh, scroll instead. Yeah. Uh, all right, Modok, what are you going to do, buddy? I think he's going to... Ooh, let me just think. Uh, ooh, uh, um, doomsday chair? Oh, yeah, all right. Get on I'm going to doomsday chair. It's going to be very long if we keep going this pace. All right. Cool. Um, <laughs> Move it along, boys. Move it along. Just play the game. We got this. Okay, man. We can do the explaining. Cool. Uh, I'm going to quickly use uh, Dark Rain, uh, three power to uh, any Cabal character can do this to reroll all attacks. I'm going to reroll all attacks on Zemo this turn. Oh, this, this is a team tactic card. Yes, mm -hmm. Dark Rain there. Um, so I'm going to do that. Then I'm also going to spend the three energy on the Doomsday Chair. Mm -hmm. I'm rolling seven dice here, so three, six. So which six. character did you choose? Sorry. Uh, this is uh, on Zemo. Okay. Yep. 
So we're getting So we've got seven dice on Zemo. Yeah. The mighty chair. Yeah, we're gonna re-roll all dice here, plus we have an extra re-roll from my Zemo. Try and roll those yeah. next to the characters if you can. Like next uh, to the combat. That's uh, where yeah. we that's where the camera is. We can catch that. Cool. That's all right. Yeah, cool. That's fine. Uh, so that was actually pretty bad from me. So I'm going to re-roll these four. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, I'm going to get on with my uh, So i got rolls. two crits. I'm actually going to explode that twice now. No, no, no. You no. explode first. Explode first. Yep. Cool. I'm going to re-roll this extra one from Baron Zemo. Uh, cool. So, so unfortunately, I've got a skull and two blanks. I also get my own re-roll from Zemo. So yep. I'll get to re-roll this one cool. into a blank. Chuck all those dice in between the forklift and the characters. Like, that's where the camera is. Uh, here? Yeah. Yep. All right, cool. That is much, that's much better. There we Sorry go. about that, boys. And girls, all right. So, so is, that, uh, is that six hits from you, Max? Yes. yes. I'm going to stay to zero. Zemo. To my zero. So this Zemo. Zemo. <laughs> <laughs> you just right, cool. destroyed right. this Zemo. So he gets, uh, he takes uh, five Brownie whole face. damage. Is it that Zemo? And becomes cool. dazed. Uh, I have one more. Pretty so, sure. Uh, you point because to your of Red Zemo Skulls race? here. Uh, my Zemo is here. It's got the okay, yeah, so you can Bill's see. one just got aced. Yeah. So th th this one, real sad. Um, so because of Red Skull, <laughs> I dealt a damage here. I'm going to get a uh, power. Mm -hmm. um, now, unfortunately, there is no other character within range two of Zemo. Mm -hmm. So I can't uh, continue on my Doomsday Chair. <laughs> However, I will now throw seven dice at uh, Black Widow as my other ability here. So I'm going to use Doomsday Chair again. It's a range four ability. So just to clarify. Uh, within range two of Zemo? Uh, no, not no. within range two of zero. I'm going to activate oh, yeah. it. I'm going to yeah, use okay, it again sure. as my second activation. Yeah. Uh, so the character doesn't get removed from the table? No, so no. What, what happens is, I'll explain this as Max plays. Yep. The characters, if you cut to this screen, Mark. Yeah, okay. Um, do that. The characters have two sides. So yep. right now we've got all the healthy sides and Blackwood is on her damage side. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, if you yeah, get damage equal to your stamina, you at the end of the turn you get flipped onto your damage side. The Missing second time you, you, you damage equal to stamina, you get removed from the board. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. So it, you can't actually take a character out of the game in one turn. Oh, okay. You just daze them, the next turn they're dead. Once you're dazed, though, you've basically activated and you can't do anything. Um, so I've got three right. six on so the So you do get an opportunity, so you, so you can, can be removed from the game. You take four damage no. and be removed Once from Once the character's dazed, they can't take any further damage that round. <sighs> okay. Uh, no, uh, but they also can't interact in that damage. round. Right, so but if you perpetually daze, yeah, it's yeah, all the two, I believe. Well, once a character's dazed, it flips to its dead side in a turn. Oh, okay. It is within range three. But that does take it out of the game, doesn't it? It needs to be... Yeah, it's not going to activate this round, but you move the model after So I'd also damage that one, so using Red Skull's ability again, I'm going to get one power back. Two with Modok. Yeah, and uh, Black Widow will take four oh. damage and immediately get removed from the game. Yeah, so in, in that example, Black Widow was already on her injured side. Yeah. So she took enough damage to be to yes. be aced. So she's gone. And she's now gone. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great mechanism in this game because yeah, it means cool. that you, you don't just get like lucky and ace someone's whole character and then they're just down a character the whole yeah, turn. Right. They at least get two turns out of each character. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which is quite a lot. Yeah. Is there a, so so is there a way to bring it back once your character No. Okay. Uh, there is no, one ability within the game to do that for what it's worth, but it is purely for Ultron. It's one yeah. of his cards. It costs, I think, six or eight, eight power. Eight, eight power. power. Mm -hmm. uh, and when he's killed, you can spend eight power to simply bring him back to regular. Not injured or anything like that. Just straight up yeah. regular right. Ultron. Going to kill him four times. Yeah. All right. So where are we at now, ones. boys? What's, um, what's So it's go? my activation, and I am in a bit of a pickle. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> um, that you was... stop rolling skulls, Bill. Yeah, look, that is, that is the tactic, really. Believe in the power it? of Howard. <laughs> That was it. I wasn't believing in Howard enough. He's also not facing you. Can Spider-Man throw Howard? Uh, no, Spider-Man Spider -Man could throw Spider -Man anything. Size two or less. Yeah, He's got web slingers, man. He throws everything. Web pulp. Spider-Man's really thing. strong. That's his thing. Um, He's as strong I... as a spider at human size. <laughs> it's like eight times his strength, yeah, not like, yeah. like that. Um, okay, so I am in a bit of a pickle here. Um, let's see. I reckon we'll go. We'll go with old with old Spidey now because he's holding a scroll. He can only move small. I feel like Spidey's doing a bit of a runner, like a very stereotypical spider. Mm -hmm. Classic. Uh, so he's going to get stuck in a bath in a second. <laughs> I think he's running into the trash Throw can. Throw a right? newspaper at him. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the bugle. Uh, <laughs> Hairspray, mate. <laughs> <laughs> don't, that that don't, doesn't even kill them. Don't throw a newspaper at me, please. Uh, okay, now he has one energy, so I can do weather pulse. Then range Interesting four. to note, the extremist console, you can interact with it, you have to be in range one, but you you heal a damage from any character within two of it. Yeah. So one person can interact and heal a different character. That's that's worth knowing. I'm feeling Modok is going to be full health by the end of this turn. Because <laughs> uh, Zemo is going to come in next turn with eight power, okay. and he's going to activate first. Uh, that's not good for little old Modok. <laughs> little old big little head Modok. old Modok. Uh, I'm just going to move a second time with Spider-Man, try and get out of here. Cool, he's going to try and run to that objective. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, uh, and that will be Spider-Man's turn, unfortunately. Cool. I'm going to activate Crossbones. 
Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Crossbones is going to punch, which is exactly what Crossbones does. He's got his fist outreached. He's looking... Let me, hold on. Wait, wait. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Coming for you, Iron Man. Oh, um, gosh. So two power on that. He's actually going to strike first, okay. uh, which costs zero power, very importantly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at range two, and it is five, uh, five dice. Yep. Uh, so we're just going to roll this. We get a power for each damage that I've dealt. We've got one critical strike here, so I'm just going to add Excellent. an extra dice into this pile. All right, that's so a blank, unfortunately. So Iron Man's got four uh, physical defense. I'll yep. roll that up here. Uh, excellent. So I have one success, unfortunately. Cool. Uh, so I've got three, so I'm going to deal two damage to you. I don't mm -hmm. have anything fancy here. After this attack is resolved, I gain power. So I'm going to gain uh, two power for dealing two damage. Uh, so you actually will only Ooh. gain one because Correct. Iron Man reduces damage that he takes by one to a minimum of one. So cool. he'll take one damage. But I will actually get two power because Red Skull says when I deal a damage, excellent. I'm going to get a power yes. back from an attack. Sounds good. All right. Alrighty, so now it's Crossbones' turn again. Yes, um, this time he's going to do. Yeah, he's going to. Do I do Haymaker or do I do Overpower? I'm in a tough one. I could throw you size two or less. Mm -hmm. Small. You tell me I could throw you into this. Alrighty, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> You're going to get slammed. I'm going to get. I'm going to get thrown. Uh, yes, we are going to use Overpower here for two. Yep. Going down to two. Um, Ooh, maybe I use trip up as well. Cool. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, use disarm as well. I'm going to spend one from Black Widow. Where's my girl? Here. Uh, I'm going to spend one from Crossbones as well and make Iron Man attack with two fewer attack dice this Team round to a minimum of mm -hmm. one. So there's my tactic cards going. Just make sure he can't, you know, wallop me across the face too much. <laughs> so now we're going to overpower here. Now no, we're going to roll walloping the old Iron Man. Five dice. Uh, yeah, we'll call uh, it that. Yeah, <laughs> cool. So I've just got one success here. Mm -hmm. uh, did I roll? Ooh, I rolled six dice, I think. Um, you cheat. I'm going to cheat. I'm, I'm going to roll one here because there's just one anyway. I'm sure statistically it would be a better roll for Bill if I have the extra one. Mm -hmm. So it's just two. Excellent. Uh, I got two successes. Two successes. Cool. Mm -hmm. So nothing crazy there. I didn't actually roll my wild either, uh, which means I don't get to throw him. But most importantly, after that. this attack is done, I can move myself to range one of the targets. So I'm going to move myself onto the objective. Ooh, cheeky cheeky. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to interact with the objective? Uh, don't need no, to. I don't need right. to. So I will not. Uh, excellent. Well, if that's the case, I reckon I'm going to go with old, the old faithful uh, Iron Man. Um, and we're going to try and do some cheeky, some cheeky cheeky. Uh, what do we got? Um, so I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to spend Iron Man's power that he got from this round, so two power altogether to do Friday AI, which yep. adds two attacks, uh, two dice, I should say, to cool. his next attack roll. So we'll uh, even out from my disarm. Yeah, uh, and then he's going to try and do Repulsor Blast on Widow, I think. Cool. So it'll be four die. So is this an four. energy attack or a It is an attack? energy attack, All yes. right, well, Widow's not very good against energy attacks. She only has two defense. Mm -hmm. Makes me very sad. So, we're going to roll four dice here and just see what happens. All right, three successes. Ooh, all right, so I'm going to get to Ooh, roll a, crit, nice. a critical strike into that one. Mm -hmm. and, uh, cool. Excellent. So, you got your three defenses against my three attacks, so no damage will be done. However, I did get a wild, which means I get to push um, the character away one small template. Cool. Um, so, just to get a good idea of what that's going to look like. Yeah, excellent. So I'm just going to push her like this. Alrighty. Get me out of that objective. Look fair yeah. enough. Um, and then for Iron Man's second, um, he's going to do... Push around the subway stairs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's going to do... Uh, he's going to do the exact same thing. However, he doesn't have Cube. Friday AI this time. So it's only going to be two So guys. I think it's important Cube for you guys commercial. to explain the difference between throws and pushes and get if up. you've got mm -hmm. time. So throws... Mm -hmm. Throws literally pick up the character and lob them in any direction. They can cause collisions. You can throw characters into other characters or into yep. terrain pieces. Uh, push is uh, usually directional. It usually says push away or push towards. And you do that by using the making a V with the template and you kind of figure that out. It, so pushes can't cause t collisions, which is, means they're usually pretty worse. But mm -hmm. they are rarer. I say they're more common. The throws are more rare. Right. Uh, so we've just had some very interesting stuff happen on the table here. I only got one success with a wild. Um, but Max got none. None. Yep. So I'm going to take a damage for starters, mm -hmm. which will give me uh, a power. Chuck your dice in between the... 
the the forklift and the character. Oh. So that's where we want to start. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. I'll continue. Is, your where would you like mine? That's fine, Bill. That's fine. Cool. Okay. I will add one damage onto crossbones here. Excellent. Um, I will. Uh, I'll gain a power for doing the uh, one damage that came through, and then also, fortunately enough, that one damage was a wild, which means I also get to push... So I'm going to save a bit of time here. Uh, Crossbones has, after, uh, attack, uh, after targeting this character with an attack, is resolved. If I've suffered damage, I can move one small towards that character. So you're going to move me small away, I'm going to move myself small back. Right. That's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Crossbones is pretty cool like that. So, for example, yeah. I'll get uh, pushed or thrown over to here, mm -hmm. um, and then I'm just going to push myself back push into that. Back. Okay, cool. Uh, nice little counterplay there. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Um, uh, that's that my activation now, I believe. So, I've got Red is. Skull and Baron Zemo and Widow left. So, I'm actually going to activate... Uh, maybe Nox. There's still Iron Man involved. I'm going to quickly... I'm going to activate my Zemo. Um, uh, unfortunately, I've only got one here. So, we're just going to do a... Long move uh, straight onto this objective. The score is, the score is still 3v1. Three, three yeah, yes, yeah, we're only on the round two right now. Two. Yeah, haven't, haven't uh, cool. Then for my second action, I'm just going to straight up attack Iron Man. Yes, yeah, so there's um, a scoring phase. Yep. And you get all the points in that cool. phase. Nothing crazy needs to happen here. I only have one power. So I'm just going to use Sword Strike here. <laughs> it is five dice. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, for each damage that I deal, um, I'll get a power. And if I get a wild, I'll also bleed Iron Man. So there's the wild and three critical strikes. Ooh. I'm rolling hot on dice. Someone Two get the scales out. <laughs> uh, but I roll nothing from that. However, using Baron Zemo, I'm going to reroll one of these dice as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Blank still. Have you not got Master Swordsman going? Yes, I just rerolled that dice there. No, no, no. no uh, Master no, Swordsman. Not Master Swordsman, no. He only has uh, the one no, power. He only goes for two Sure. Yeah. Yeah. In this game, you can reroll a reroll. It's very important. Yes. So you, um, if you had Master Swordsman, you can reroll all those and then roll it one. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to deal yeah. four. I'm going to wild. So I'm going to bleed you as well. You're going to reduce one of these, I assume, from Iron Man's ability. Yeah, and um, so two successes? Yes. So, so you take four two. damage. You'd reduce that by one, so you'll take three damage. Did they oh, not explode into anything, Bill? Uh, they did. No, they no. didn't. Uh -huh. Didn't you get four? So two. Yep. Systems? So you're going to take one damage total. One damage total. Excellent. And then I'm going to give you a wild, which makes you bleed as well. But yeah. Um. So I'll take one damage. I'll gain one power. That is so I got one damage to you. So I'm going to get a power because of Red Skull's ability. I'm going to get another power again. I get a bleed token. Excellent. Uh, excellent. So now it's up to old C America. Um, oh, Captain. Oh, Captain Carton. You have. You going to throw his mighty shield? Oh, he's thinking about it. He, he might not. Sing, sing he's got a lot of range to do so, it. The thing is, is that I can keep him on the objective and then I can score some points, which love that. Um, but that means he is out of the fight, which doesn't feel super good. Because he is quite tanky. And he's I think definitely he... quite far away from yeah, any action. Away. Yeah. So I reckon, unfortunately, I am gonna just going to have to move him away. So we're going to put a little move template here. Not, not going to farm the points? No, you know what? I've still got my He's my still got a scroll. my scroll agent, which I'm trying to fight against right now. Well, you uh, know what they say: all those who choose to oppose the shield must yield. Is Scott, that, is that I'm gonna give you a little bit of a secret right here. I'm gonna oppose the shield. Don't oppose the with shield. a chair. Well, I'm get, get, pretty sure you must yield. That's get, what it's get, in the get, song. Get, yep, get get yield. And... Yeah, uh, I will so show you the bottom half of my chair. Not that's lie. what I think of. How it is very much in the way right now. If yeah. he's led to a fight and a duel is due, then the red and the white and the blue come through. Uh, I think you're underestimating the uh, chair, Scott. All right, enough of that. <laughs> I think the ancient adage uh, goes, once upon a time, give him the chair! <laughs> <laughs> ancient adage, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, Iron Man's, I mean, Iron Man, Captain America is not going to be doing much this turn. He's cool. simply going to move twice and get into a position. I'm going to activate Black Widow. Move twice and not end up on extremist console. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, however, am going to end up on an extremist console. Yes. Uh, actually, I heard a little bit. Very quickly. Which I'm is gonna, just like a phone. I'm going to put myself within range one of this, uh, mm -hmm. but also within range two of both of Mod these guys, Modern extremist console. Yeah. Uh, range two of Captain America, at least. Mm -hmm. It's not some like cartoon uh, yeah, cool. giant warehouse with one computer in it. Uh, maybe. N yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine? Uh, like some no. Kim Possible style like, villain, pop her villain over equipment. Here within range one. Put her outside of range three. Of, oh. Doesn't look like you're outside of range three, mate. No, it doesn't. It really mate. doesn't. We're going to go over to here. So each template is not... So like a range two template isn't double range one. Oh, yeah, and a range good. three isn't, double, isn't right. three ones. Yeah, nice. so they outside actually, of range three. Of yes, exponentially bigger. Yep. yep. Uh, cool. the, the short side of every template is range one. That's good. Um, it's very interesting. 
Uh, cool. Now I have one more here. I still have Red Skull to activate. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess he's going to do some activating with Red Skull things. Red Skull, what can you do? I feel like you have a cube here, a very important cube. You're a cube. The blue uh, cube. I can unleash the cube. That seems pretty reasonable at range four. I don't think there is Seven dice, four power. At range four. So we're just going to do a movement first. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna do After you deal damage with the unleash the cube, it throws the character small. Yes. So you can whack him into a building or something. That was hopefully the intention here. Um, we're going to move myself. Uh, I don't think we care about Captain America right now. Yeah. What's he ever done? <laughs> so it's a fun thing to note that Captain America gets way stronger on his injured side. Mm. He's got an ability called I can do this all day, and he starts adding blanks to his defense rolls. Oh, wow. So if he rolls a blank, it turns into a block. We treat it as a block. Uh, yep. Cool. So Red Skull is going to unleash the cube. Mm. Iron Man gets the uni bean ability on the backside. So he's like, screw this, press the button, his chest fires. Like, <laughs> Cool. Uh, yeah. That is four power, so I'll take one. Uh, I don't have anything else I really want to be doing here. Maybe I should have been patching up MODOK here. Well, MODOK um, has ten health on the front, only four on the back. Go look at the backside of MODOK's uh, card. It's ridiculous. The art, <laughs> is, the art is amusing. <laughs> the art is very amusing. Everything else is the same. Yeah. Another allied character within two. All right, so very quickly, before I actually move, I'm going to use a uh, patch up here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to spend my last power from Red Skull just to remove one damage from MODOK. Just one? Just the one. Well, he needs the power to yeah, use no, the, no. to unleash mm -hmm. the cube, Scott. I don't think you understand <laughs> unleashing the cube and what that means. The cube is unleashed. I'm about to very quickly show you what unleashing the cube actually means. So I'm going to throw seven dice. Let's go back to the book. Yep, and uh, who are you targeting? I'm going to target Spider-Man. Excellent. If that is the case, I'm going to spend a power. Mm -hmm. Now, it's normally two power, but because of um, uh, a day like any other, Captain yep. America. He's unleashing the cube. <laughs> um, he can do the move Bodyguard for one power instead. Cool. Um, so now he's going to be the target regardless of line of sight and range. Cool. Totally fine. Uh, this is a, uh, an energy attack. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to roll... Uh, four and a wild. Spidey's uh, energy defense is okay, right? It's three. Uh, no, so so it's Captain been America. moved to Captain oh, America because yeah. of bodyguard. Oh, the bodyguard trick. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so My I little diagram was wrong. And a critical. I'm going to explode that critical. Yeah, look at his defense. Four, four, three. Good old cap. Uh, so I have three boy. successes. <clears throat> if you throw me into Spider-Man... There's the proverbial... I'm going to be really upset. Beam. Pardon? If you throw me into Spider-Man, I'm going to be really So I don't actually really throw upset. you. I do something different here because I rolled the wild, which is very important. Okay. Uh, the wild here says, after this attack is resolved, the target character and characters within range one of the target character gain the stun special condition. So both Spider-Man and Captain America are now stunned. That is very unfortunate. Uh, Scott, what does stunned mean? Uh, stunned is when you have to spend an action to get rid of it. Alrighty, so uh, the next time that uh, Bill activates Spider-Man and Captain America, he will pretty much lose an action is what's happening here. Mm. Mm. And uh, Captain America also will also take one damage because you have one success coming through. Certainly, that means I've dealt the damage, so Red Skull will get one power back, mm -hmm. which is wonderful for Red Skull. He definitely needs that power. Uh, so that's all our activations done, I believe. Yes. Um, so we'll go to the end of round scoring. I have uh, two healthy characters on this point, so you I'm going to gain that one. Do. Uh, you have no characters within range one of this point, so yes. I'm going to score that point. Yep. And you have no characters within range one of also that one. Also true. No, sorry. Point. Stun is the one where if you could gain more than one power, you're going to gain one power instead. Okay. I'm thinking of Stagger. Stagger's the one where you, uh, you have right. to get rid of it with a shake action. So what was the cool. point? What was the points update there, boys? One, two, three points based on... Uh, uh, objectives here, and then Bill has the uh, scroll, so he's going to get two points simply for having that. Puts him to so five. Six to f oh, uh, so it's five to four. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Catching up. Uh, yeah. Five. Five, five for four. Bill and four. Because I got three that turn, and Bill yeah. still got two, and he was ahead of me. Now, by also two during the, the cleanup phase, uh, Baron Zemo is going to flip, so he gets rid of his dazed and his oh, bleed condition. Yeah, that's going to be scary. And Come he on, becomes Rodolfo. injured. Um, and then who else? No one else is going to flip. Um, so it's just Zemo in that regard. Um, <laughs> no end here. Cool. And then um, this looks um, very different to when I normally play. When I play, all that's gone. I just we are going turn to, two, all the terrain's missing. <laughs> we're going to now go to the power phase. <laughs> yes. Everyone will get one power. Yeah. Specifically, yeah. Spider Man. Yeah, Bill and I played about five games, and it's by by turn two, Spider Man's copped like a Daily Bugle and a Howard statue. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things. Yeah. The Hulk's just windmill throwing He's everything at him. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Because uh, Spider Man's Bill's favorite character is so you got to take him off the board first. Got to take him off it's as important. soon as yeah. humanly possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't make me feel bad at all. <laughs> uh, okay. Excellent. So it's my turn first, and Baron Zemo has nine power. 
I kind of want to use that. If Look. You, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't deny that. <laughs> All right, buddy. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to activate Zemo first. As much as I'd like to go elsewhere. So he's going to activate Master Sword. This is turn Swords. three, correct? This yes. is turn three. Oh, we, should be, we should be updating, updating that. Yes, yeah, sorry certainly. about that. Uh, so I'm going to spend uh, one power to do Master Swordsman yep. because of Captain America. Um, so he'll go down to eight power. Uh, and then he's going to do Steel Rush um, on old Modok. So we're going to get six dice. Steel Rush, yeah. Th range three, six dice, two power. Mm -hmm. After attack is resolved, the character may advance medium. So it yes. means you can go in, whack him, and then move to someone else and whack them too. Mm -hmm. And then the, the wild gives you a bleed. Excellent. So um, let's just see what happens. Let's roll some die. Ooh, that's not good for me. Excellent. So uh, the critical explodes. So I'm going to do that first. Cool. Yep. Now you get to reroll one of those dice. Uh, I get to reroll all of them because of Master ah, Swordsman. Of course. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to reroll the ones that failed here. Um, here we go. Uh, so that's another success. Cool. And uh, he gets to reroll one more from his passive one more ability from as well. The master stratagem. So that's nothing. So now, Modok here has a psionic force field. While I'm defended against attack, I change all your wild results to blanks. It's you real good. do, yes. So this becomes a blank, and, and this becomes, becomes a blank. blank. So yep. three successes. Cool. Uh, I rolled nothing. Do you, <laughs> do you want to reroll this, Max, with power? Uh, with power. Uh, look, I will take three damage, I think. Go okay. to five out of eight. Ooh. Let's check in on the character cards. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any power, actually, so I have to. Oh, no power? Yeah, he's So I'll take excellent. five, but now I will gain three power, which mm -hmm. is pretty good here. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, Baron Zemo is going to advance his medium. Jump onto the objective. Come around Look, here. Seems very reasonable. Yeah. Uh, and then for his second action, he's going to spend mass He's going to spend two points this time. This is his second power activated. Go down to six to do Master Swordsman again. Yep. And he's going to steal Rush you again. Oh, fourth power. Uh, again. Look, seems reasonable. Uh, did you spend mega the two power one. from Steel Rush both times? Uh, no, so I spent... Uh, oh, no, I did not, actually. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'm going to spend another four there. Yeah, she should be on two. Uh, yeah, she should be Did Cap one. reduce yeah. one of those by one? Yes, uh, the he first did. one. He yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, so, six die. Let's see what we get. So each team has an allegiance ability based on the fact that they're Cabal uh, or Avengers. Okay. You become Cabal by having more than half your characters be a Cabal aligned. Real this. Yep. You become Avengers in a similar way. Uh, and then uh, Captain America's least ability for Avengers is uh, cool. each superpower they use each turn is reduced by one. Just okay. one, the first one each time. Yeah, right. Uh, and four spend successes. the cost of uh, the cost of yeah. So if you look at charge costs two, it would cost one. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, which is quite annoying. powerful. Yep. And the Cabal one is whenever a Cabal character deals damage with an attack. Yep. Uh, Red Skull gives it a power. Okay, it cool. generates a power, which is very powerful, because if you look at Modog, he's got a Doomsday Chair, which attacks twice. Yep. So you can attempt to attack four times in a turn and get four power from it. Yeah, right. And he can spend power to reroll dice. Yeah, okay. So he's, just a, he's a train. Yep. Excellent. So I ended up going through and getting four damage through, which is just not enough. Yeah. Not enough. Um, to to One, finish two, off the old um, thing. And now he's got a ridiculous amount of power. Yes. So, oh, uh, you're in trouble. Is Modog on nine? Uh, yeah, Modok is on nine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, oh, all right. I'm going to activate. It's been fun, Bill. Thanks for playing. <laughs> activate Modok here, just uh, yeah. very quickly. Depends yeah, if Max knows how to use Modok. Sense. Modok's, Max on nine. Game. Modok's on nine oh, power, nine really health is. and seven power. Oh, good. Uh, uh, one more, one more damage, and he'd be out of, out of commission. So look at Modok's card here. Yes. Oh definitely. wait, so the health counts up. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. So it's, what they, it's actually referred to as nine health, not nine damage. No, it's nine damage. In you, when you have damage, you're on one health stamina. currently. You're right. Okay. So I'm going to use. Doomsday Chair. Um, oh, crazily enough, I'm going to use power? it on... Uh, it does cost three power. I'm going to go down to four. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to use it on Iron Man, actually, though. Okay. So, you know, seven at Iron Man. This yep. is Range four. Range four, yep. correct. I'm in within range four. Iron I check Man that right there. Up top. Uh, Iron Man's up here, just to double check for everyone at home. Oh, there he is. Mm -hmm. yep. Range four. Frame. We had it fixed. We did, and it moved. Well, let's fix that again, I guess. Uh, cool. Um, so we're going to roll all of his Iron Man has two health left and he will bleed at the end of his turn. Uh, yes, he has three health left. Cool. Uh, so I've rolled this. I'm going to explode two more dice into it. Sorry, let me just do this for everyone to see. Uh, we're going to explode two more dice into this. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Um, mm -hmm. Now I can start spending energy if I want to re-roll dice. Um, you currently have two defenses and I then you're going to take do. one out and you're going to take three and die exactly on the dot. Yep. Um, so I'm not going to do that. However, yeah, I do get specials, um, which gives you the bleed token anyway. You can't have more than one bleed token, I believe. Yeah, yeah you can only get one each, each status. Yeah. Each status. 
cool. Uh, so I'm going to daze Iron Man. I now cool. have one more activation here. Uh, so I'm going to get uh, one power because of Red Skull's ability here. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to spend all uh, three to do a Doomsday Chair once more, throwing yep. seven. Actually, what is your defense? Uh, you have four on the Mystic? Man, that feels bad. So I, Iron Man copped it. Iron Man copped the chair to the face. Iron so Man where copped are you the chair this? to the face. I'm going to do this back to Baron Zemo. At the Baron Zemo. Okay, good. Boom, this guy. Excellent. My favorite. Yes. So I'm going to try and deal... I have to deal five to him. He actually has Counter Strike, so uh, he, might, might, he might deflect the chair. I don't think <laughs> I actually want to attack Baron Zemo right now, considering uh, he sure has do. done this. So I might actually uh, instead. Uh, don't um, worry about it. Just attack him anyway. Uh, I'm going to throw terrain at him because I don't believe you can counter attack terrain. <sighs> no, I can't. Survey says. Uh, so I can choose a terrain of size Wait, so three what, or this? less. Is this Modok? Yes. Modoc? So when I throw, you cannot counter attack a throw. No, it's it throw. is not attack. Yeah. So what do you throw? You throw. What are you throwing? Uh, terrain size three or less. Yes. Yeah, so what are you so throwing? The daily so bugle. I can throw the daily bugle at him. Yep. <laughs> you certainly can. Is so you can, dexterity so, game. So, so, I get so the... you measure measure the the range. So what are you throwing? It long, medium, or small? Uh, well, I can measure it long. Yeah. So chuck the long in front of Modok. Now you throw it from Modok. He picks yep. it up. And then you you to pick, take it off the board. Pick it up. Yep. Now measure from Modok. Yep. You throwing it to Zemo? Yes. Yeah. So basically, it it hits the first person that it, it along the template that it hits. Okay. So now so remove from the board. Way. Yep. And now you do size plus one. So it's three. So, so four damage is now mm -hmm. being applied to Zemo. And yep. Bill must do a dodge roll, which is the same yes. as a physical defense roll. Yep. Which I have three dice. Um, uh, this does cost me uh, two energy, though. So I will go down to three. Power. Okay. A power, sorry. Um, I did get a critical, which they do count in this. They do, I, yes. I can't do the uh, other one. So, so two successes. So you there. take two damage. I'll take two damage. Excellent. Cop it. Copped, indeed. Somebody needs to throw Howard at someone that's in the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so he's going to take two damage and go up to four. Now, this is one of the first times two. that I will, excuse me, not gain power up from Red Skull's ability because that is attacks only, and what I just performed was a superpower. Excellent. So now it's my turn. Yeah. So Modok, Modok did uh, two attacks and a throw? No, he did uh, an attack and a throw. Uh, the throw is an action. No, it isn't. Uh, yeah, it has the action symbol. Nope. No, no, no. So it, it has the has word the action. Action keyword. This is what so I was saying the other day. Get... The throws are not actions. They're ludicrously yeah. powerful. So you only have three health left? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Sonic Blast, Doomsday Chair. Interesting. I'm going to try and Doomsday Chair you oh, for seven. Doomsday Chair! <laughs> no! Uh, don't do that. Uh, so I'm going to try and perform three damage onto you. <laughs> Last week on Crisis Protocol. Oh, Christ. Look, this could still be very bad for Modok, but if I can take Baron Zemo off the table, let's try and do it. Um, unless there's something else I can do. Can I throw again? No, it says no. once per turn. That's why right. it says once per turn. Yeah. <laughs> the sass. I've got to ask. Well, that's who, pretty good for me. Uh, that's decided four. Th that these were the, the heroes On that the um, Ooh, so I'm they were going to use. Gonna spend two power the, like, here. I don't know who half these actually, people no, are. You, know who most, you don't know who Zemo is or Crossbones or Modoc, um, right? To do Master Swords yeah, that's, again. Yeah, yeah. You don't know the villains. Uh, it is uh, one of the target of the physical attack. He's just some comic book dingus with a big head. With a chair. physical attack. Yeah. I think this character may use the superpower. Uh, or defense dice. Yeah, okay, go, go for it. Yeah, so I'm I actually think it's good they included Murdoch for like the um, comic book oh, hardcore really fans. Yep. Like it shows yeah, they, they care, they're not just looking for like an MCU cash grab. Yeah. Like, um, I don't know Murdoch cool. at all, but I do appreciate uh, they're caring about the true uh, fans. No. Okay, good. So one success. Yep, uh, one defense, so you'll take three. Yeah. You can get three power as well. Uh, I don't think it's relevant, but uh, you get that. You get three power, but he dies. All right, well, we'll remove Baron Zemo from this table. Yeah. Modok has killed everyone so far, <laughs> just so we're all clear. Power of the chair. Killed Iron Man, killed, oh, dazed Iron Man, killed Black Widow, killed Baron Zemo. Mm -hmm. Has no power, is on one health. Good. You better get tabled, Bill. No, you can stop talking at any time. That'd be fine. Uh, that is your activation now, my friends. <laughs> I was worried this video would be long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sass team in the commentary. <laughs> Sass team. I'll pull, I'll pull it back. Sass team is simple. Just need, just need a little <laughs> bit of faith. All right. Um, just to clarify, Crossbones has one damage on him, and Murdoch has nine, and then everyone else is full health. We can just <laughs> we can just cross cut to that if you want. Yeah. Just 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 rubbing it in. By the way, just Max, yeah. I love it. Just just just, just by the way. Uh, fun fact for everyone: uh, Max is a giant dishbag. Excellent. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Get back to the cool, table. Cool, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> Someone throw a forklift at someone. So you've got uh, Spider-Man and Captain America to activate. That's your only options because Iron Man mm. is dazed. 
And Spider-Man can only move small because he's yes. still got that so scroll Spider -Man on him. Spider-Man is going to move small. That's right, he still has the pastry. So Bill can still do pretty well here. I mean, <laughs> he's sitting on scroll. objectives. <laughs> Currently, uh, I'm only getting two, and if we tie that up, international customers. actually getting two as well. Uh, so, um, I am going to spend two power to do Webapult. Um, what an no. original name. I know, Webapult, crazy, right? Well, it's like I catapult find, with web, so... Yeah. I find something within three which is size two or less, like this car, uh, and hey. then I throw it a small template. So, I'm going to throw it straight into Widow's... Go for it. ...dumb face. Uh, uh, just so we're aware, this uh, Webapult is not as superior quack. as the Webuche. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So you now have to make a dodge roll of uh, three. Cool. So I will roll... Uh, so you damage. hit me for three damage. Physical I'm going to use three. Physical, Physical defense here. Um, uh, this is not an attack, though, Yeah, so you don't get to use so her martial artist ability. Don't get to do a bunch of good shenanigans here. Um, uh, I will get a wild. So that's one defense from me. Take two. Uh, so I'll take two, and I'll get two power. She'll go to four and take two. She's on two health left. Hey, Bill's done some damage. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, so, Bill, you have how many heroes left? Uh, Marcus, yes. feel free <laughs> Three to, uh, to have a look at the board and figure uh, that look, out for yourself. He does have the scroll, so that's very important, um, that he's getting him two points a turn. So I'm forced to kind of spread out over the table Man, now. you got to get that pastry back. Uh, get look, I'm going to get it back. <laughs> Better freaking not. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, and now for his other action, he's going to do impact webbing. On old uh, Black Widow. What does that do? Let's have a look. So, uh, Wibblepult is an action or not? So, you've it is moved. Not. You've done a I've free moved, throw. And I've done a free throw. I don't think any of the throws are actions in this game. Um, I think Carol's might be, but I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Wibblepult is four dice. Nah, Carol's isn't. At yep. range four. Um, I'm going to do this into thingy. Um, you mean impact webbing, sorry? I do mean, in fact, impact webbing. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, so let's see if we can get some wilds and push Widow away. Right, so this is a physical attack here. Yeah. So I'm going to have three. Uh, you're within range two now. Uh, so I do yeah. turn my defense uh, to... Uh, my, my blanks go to shields. Uh, yes. Yep. You are just... Blanks are shield there, Bob. Actually, no. You are no, not. No, I'm not. All righty. So movement two oh. is actually longer than range Rough. two. By a hair. Yes. By a hair. By a hair. Right. So I'm going to throw these dice and let's see what we get. All righty. Uh, cool. So I did get a crit in there. Which you don't nice. want those shields there, Bill. I'm not really. No, he wants these hits that I rolled, and I want his shields. <laughs> it's a trait. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. So, so that's two. Uh, I got a wild, so I'll stop one. So I'm going to take a damage you here. You get to do to the, three. the push first, though. Uh, yes. All right. Spider-Man's impact when you push, push yes, small. I size two or less away, small. Yep. So we're going to have to do that one here. Yep. Yep. Uh, and push any direction cool, there. Cool. Yeah, you are just going to get. Uh, fudge to cool sticks out of here. It's nice when they have a now, have like an inbuilt way to. Yeah. Man, I'm not in range three anymore. I cannot counterattack that. Yeah, makes me feel very sad. But I will very take a damage. Very clever, strategic. If you and would. I will take <laughs> a so power. Much. So I'm on five right now. Excellent. Uh, that is Spider Man that done. That is Spider Man activate hard. Alrighty, we doing crossbones or Baron Zemo? Crossbones, uh, he's not doing much. Unfortunately, do we really just want to get him involved? Uh, or is he here to punch Iron Man next turn? Now, hang on a sec. Yeah. We need to take that back. Wait one minute. What's up? Because I have the stun condition on Spider-Man. No, the stagger. No, the stun no, condition. Stun is the power one. Stun's power. You don't get power. Oh, you're, you're okay. Fine. Yes, excellent. So okay, good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Those in the top box. Um, <clears throat> I think I might, considering this is kind of done for now, I would like to activate Red Skull with his two power. Um, so Modox there. We're going to do Red Skull. Uh, he... He's going to... The board's a lot cleaner now. Yeah. <laughs> Once you throw a, a car in, uh, in the Daily Bugle. Red Skull can't do any throws. This makes me very sad. <laughs> it's a Daily Bugle like, newsstand. It's not the yeah, Daily Bugle. Yeah. The no. size 100 Daily Bugle. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. The, the whole building, you know. No, this is, that was the first building, the first Daily Bugle. It was, uh, it was just one little one I can little hear J. Stand. Jonah Jameson just <laughs> Spider-Man! <laughs> and it fly Spider. through the air. Uh, so we're going to move... <laughs> Give me uh, pictures of Spider-Man. Medium with Red Skull. Uh, and he's... He doesn't need range four. So range I love they brought him back for the new new franchise. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. He's the best. So we're gonna pop Red Skull over to here. Oh, don't do that. Uh, 
run over dying. an objective. No, <laughs> it's cut yeah. to an angle we cannot see. <laughs> but because uh, someone needs to throw that duck. Somebody <laughs> throw the damn uh, duck. So I'm actually at range four of Captain America. So okay. what I'm going to use is uh, Cosmic Blast here. So it Ooh. is an energy attack. It rolls five dice at range four, and for each wild that I have, I will sap one power from Captain America. Mm. Uh, okay. If that's the case, I'm going to spend two power. Uh, wait, no, this is your uh, mystic. This attack? is a cosmic blast, so it's an energy attack. You cannot use vibranium shield. Uh, is it an energy or is it a mystic? It is an energy attack. There's, there's only Modok has mystic. Okay. Oh, then I can use vibranium oh, right. shield. Oh, that's of course my mistake. Yes. He works against both. Yeah. So I'm going to spend my. Actually, I'm going to spend one power because it's the first power. We're targeted by. Just yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to add two to the results of this dice. Uh, add two dice or add two to two the dice. results? Two dice, yes, sorry, yeah. Cool. Right, rolls so two I've just got dice. five here. Uh, so uh, we got two hits and a crit. Excellent. So I'm going to add an extra dice onto here. That is quite a lot of defenses. It's only, yeah, it's uh, I did not get a wild, which is kind of what I was looking for, but I still took a p uh, power from uh, Captain America, which is what I was looking for, because um, he had to use his ability. So you yep. got three shields, was it, against yes. my four hits? Uh, so you'll take a damage, a damage. and get a power, I'll get one and power. I uh, won't. I'll just deal one damage to Captain America. Cool. Cool. Uh, that is Red Skull's turn. Excellent. Um, well, now it's old. It's the old C Pap, C Cap, C C Crack, C Track. <laughs> Captain America, if you wish. <laughs> Captain America, he's got some power. He's gonna do a little something. Captain America's got the stagger condition, or stun condition rather. And two damage and two power. Mm -hmm. Stun being, you can only get the only get power. one power every time he gains power. How do you get rid of it? Uh, you can use a you shake action to get rid of it. You can, the shake action will remove any status condition. Mm -hmm. So any character can. But do that, that takes obviously. But takes that takes an action. action yes. Yep. Yeah. Um. Okay. Range two, huh? We've got to have to do a medium. That's not as fun, is it? Okay, that's fine. We're going to uh, throw his mighty shield. Ah, uh, I see. He's the mightiest Ooh, Do I get shields. to sing the song? <laughs> if you want, man. No, I'm good. <laughs> uh, so it's range four. I roll four dice. And uh, Roll them dice. Roll them dice. Uh, let's is see. it a physical attack against Red Skull? It certainly is, yes. Right. Let's see how we go. Good. So we've only got three so defenses. throwing... Here. This shield. Ooh, that's all. And it's gonna go. And there's nothing I can Boom. do about that, unfortunately. Yep. Uh, and I can't do anything about that. So two damage. Two damage. <laughs> right, I'll gain two power. Yeah. I'll take is that two. The, is that the path that the uh, is that the path the shield? Yeah. Uh, what taking? would you like to do for your second action? My second action, I'd like to move. Have you seen that thing in the movies? It just goes. It's like. Onto it, the let's be real. Objective. It's gonna go to here. <laughs> I would like to clarify, he's Bounce outside of range here. one of that objective. Yes. Bounce to there. Or off the ground. All right. No, off, uh, off the dumpster. Yeah. Off the my dumpster. turn, I have and three activations the, and you have none. In the back of the head. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, so I'm just going to do... Uh, I'm just going to pop her onto the objective here. You don't have to do that. Uh, look, I'm going to. Um, and then for my second action... Um, um, do I use mixed technique? Ooh, uh, you already have the stunned, not the staggered. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to um, use mixed technique, which costs me two power, mm -hmm. and I'm going to use it on Spider-Man. Physical. You use it on spiders, man. Yes. Excellent. Well, I'm going to spend two power to make you use it on Captain America instead. All right. Um, Black Widow has four physical attack dice. Yep. Captain America has four defense yep. dice. Cool. We got any more power for Cap? No, we don't. No, we looking got any more for of that dead power. Wilds. Well, he's hoping he could uh, uh, perfect, use Vibrain so Shield on this. That's that what is Cap three really and a wild. Uh, yep. So you rolled uh, blanks, unfortunately. So you'll take yes. three damage, and you'll also get yeah. the. Um, oh, so I've dealt damage to you, so you get the stagger. I may also advance one small. Uh, I, I don't need to advance one small. Okay. Uh, so Captain America. Maybe I will. Maybe I'm just going to move myself right in the middle uh, of everyone. Has taken nice and nice and snugly. Three damage enough to the point where he has, in fact, become dazed. Oh, got him. At least I would have rather him. I would have rather him not dazed, to be honest, uh, because. Uh, well, um, that means you only you could daze right? him next turn straight away. I do own the objective. It's very yeah. true. That's pretty good. But you also wipe all your I certainly do. Next yes, turn. which is quite nice. All right, I got a few more things happening here. Yeah. Um. Baron Zemo, mate. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to activate him. Uh, I don't think I can charge, unfortunately, at this particular range. Um, 
Uh, yeah, you'd be able to. You could, you could move first, right? And then charge? This character immediately makes a move action followed by an attack action. You, so can, you can move straight through Iron Man. You don't have to measure around. Yeah. All right. Same size, yeah. Same size all as you. So he's going to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to perform the charge action yeah. now, which, uh, which cost costs me two power. Yep. Um, so we're going to move right up close into Spider-Man. Suddenly mm -hmm. I feel like moving into that one spot wasn't as good because it had two on the objective. Mm -hmm. But that's all right. Uh, but we are now going to attack you with uh, my sword strike and yep. spend two for Master Swordsman so I can re-roll all, right. all my dice. Re-roll them twice. Mm -hmm. So I sacrifice a dice from Steel Rush, unfortunately, um, but I am going to get to re-roll all of these, which is very important. That's very good. Yeah. Is so Captain America taking it? No, he can't. He can't. He can't. He's been dazed. So five dice onto Spidey. Um, oh. I'm going to uh, explode, explode one. one because of this. I could use with some crits here. Uh, that is that. I'm now going to re-roll these two dice. I can't roll my skull. Uh, and then I'm going to re-roll my defense dice from his ability. All right. So unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to re-roll this one dice, Spider-Man, because the spider senses can re-roll two dice. Yep. Um, can't re-roll the skull. Can't re-roll yep. the skull. So I just roll this. Oh, can't re-roll the skull. skull. Robins. So, so I'll take two one. You take uh, yeah two damage. Because I've got three hits, you've got one defense. Also, uh, because I have the uh, uh, wild, you get a bleed special condition, and it also gain a power equal to the damage dealt, which was two. So I'm going to get two, and then because of red skull, that's going to be three. Woo. Mm. Um, now we have crossbones uh, as my final activation here. Uh, both there's nothing like two, by the way. <laughs> really that uh, crossbones yeah, no. can do. Um, it really hinders the progression when both players just roll like wet towels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so I six. would like to punch you in the face, but I can't, mm -hmm. so I won't. Tell how our legal system works. I probably should have used trip up against Iron Man, but everyone wants to do the that's punch. That's fine. These days, he'll lose status. Yeah. Cool. Uh, he's just going to yep. chill on on there. Can't or won't. All so right. So we go to the cleanup phase. Yes. So all of your guys flip. You'll yes. take. A bunch of stuff, shenanigans, um, and things. So, do so we get some points? What are the scores now? Uh, so, I own uh, this one because Iron Man is dazed and does not count towards players. Yep. I own this one because Captain America is also dazed and does not count, and I'm uh, Spidey is without one. And I own this one from Modok. So, I'm going to get three points. Is Modok so, within one? Uh, yes, he is. Okay. He's been one, but he hasn't moved the whole game after he got there. So, that's seven. Three more uh, points for however, you. However, Spider Man still has the scroll. So, he's going to get two from that. So, we're actually mm -hmm. tied now. It just shows how important so having seven, the scroll seven. is. Yeah. Purely because of that scroll at the start, uh, Billy's very much still in this point. One turn of you having the scroll, it might have been a completely different game. Yes, mm -hmm. if, for example, over here, if you can see that, uh, where Crossbones and Iron Man are, if that was a critical and Iron Man picked it up, I think this game was mine probably two or three, uh, probably yeah. a turn ago, mm -hmm. give or take. Mm. Um, but well, press on. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yes. Round four. You're actually on the initiative now. Uh, no, you are. Uh, I started the priority. Yes, all right, cool. So we, we go to the power phase. We mm -hmm. all get one power here. Turn four. Uh, we're on turn yep, we'll four on now. Yeah. Uh, Modok as well gets one. Um, so I am going to probably use Baron Zemo related things. Now, Captain has four power, so he's probably just going to take that anyway, which makes me feel pretty bad Smack about that. Smack yourself in the face there, <laughs> Apologies, I'll just punch myself in the face. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It didn't um, come through the headphones really loudly at all. <laughs> what happened? Uh, <laughs> just, I don't know what to scratch my eye and missed. Hit the mark. Uh, <laughs> I might actually activate Black Widow here yeah. because she's going to die pretty quickly. Right. And we're going to use Tall mixed technique. Yeah, the, pro the product is professional. Uh, and we're going to use that on <laughs> Captain <is> America. <laughs> yep. So we're going to have four dice here. Okay. Uh, from mixed technique. Uh, I'm um, going to spend two. one power to do Vibranium uh, Shield. I'm actually going to use Trip Up as well. When an allied character oh, targets... Another tactic an, card. Uh, another tactic card, my final one. When an allied character targets an enemy character with an attack during its activation, it's in range two of another ally. I've got Baron Zemo there. Mm -hmm. uh, I can each spend one to play this card. So mm -hmm. Baron yep. Zemo down to three. Uh, Black Widow down to one. Uh, if the target character is Ooh. dealt damage... They have the stunned and staggered stun special condition. Stunned and stagger. So yeah. mm -hmm. neuters your next turn, like takes away an action essentially, and yep. then stops you getting power. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've got four. Maybe I should have done this with Zemo mm -hmm. to try and guarantee it. But four, here we go. Mm. Um, so I'm going to re-roll this because of Baron Zemo. Yep. Continuing to roll like poo. Cool. <laughs> Uh, so I have two there. You have one shield. Mine. I have three, in fact. So when Captain three. America f flips, yeah, has, I, can I can do it do all this day. All day. Um, blanks become successes. That's Ooh. America there. All right. I probably should have used Baron Zemo for the extra attacks. Um, but that's a bit of a shame. Um, this trip up is the next attack, I believe, as I uh, reread trip that. Trip up is... 
with by an attack this attack. Action. Yep. Yes, it's this particular attack. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, so unfortunately, nothing on that. Yep. No damage. I won't get any benefits. Excellent. Um, but I guess Black Widow will now attack you with... Uh, what is your defense? Four, four, and three. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to attack you with a strike. Okay. So four attacks again. Yep. Uh, wild and a hit. Um, cool. I can re-roll this because of Baron Zemo. Yep. Uh, so two wilds and a hit. That's three hits. Uh, mm -hmm. After this action is resolved, the target loses one uh, power. So you'll lose the power, go down to two. Yep. Uh, I will I'll... deal two damage to you. Uh, yeah, and I have cool. two successes. So I'll get uh, two. You have two successes? Yeah, blank. And wild. Uh, does the blank count as success? success? Yes. Sorry, you'll take one damage then? Yep. Um, so I'll gain one, uh, and then I'll gain one from Red Skull as well. Um, you lose a power. Cool. Done and Excellent. dusted. That is Black Widow's turn. Cool. Mananas. Um, now, how far away is old Red Skull? Outside of four? That's good. Outside of four. Alrighty. Uh, okay. What would you like to do? Um, think about my life choices. They were... They weren't good ones when you chose to battle me. Oh! Cool. Bam, 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 bam. Alrighty, buddy, come on. Get that bump yep, with the sting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not, mate? Alright, so, um, Spider's Man is gonna move. He's gonna do something. He's gonna move. Uh, he's gonna move like this. Spider's Man moving. Only small? But only small because he's holding a scroll. Oh, yes, that's, that's how that works. Which yep. is, um, I th must admit, quite the mistake. I think I should have had Captain America go for it. Um, yeah, Spider-Man normally moves long, is that correct? Yes, yes he so does. he's lost two full ranges of movement. Um, like I get why Spider-Man moves long. Why does Black Widow move long and, Ameri and uh, Iron Man only moves medium? He's gonna he spend can fly at supersonic speed. She's he's super sneaky. Spend mm. one uh, power to do uh, web line. Yep. Uh, so I pick someone within range four and I push them small. Cool. Yeah, this is a, one of Spider-Man's more controlling abilities. He's very good at uh, pushing people off the objective. Yeah. But like uh, to push me in that direction? It's a bit of a choice because if you activate him late, you get... Obviously, get to push people off objectives and you get the points. But if you activate him late, chances are he's dead. <laughs> so you don't get to activate him at all. So you want to uh, activate him sort of halfway through and make them move themselves back on the objective and waste their time. I don't think you're able to fully control them off the objectives. Now I'm going to do impact webbing on old Red Skull uh, as well. Red Skull, yeah. Alrighty. That is a physical attack. So Red Skull only has. Uh, oh no, he has four defense against physical. Alright. Uh, so I'm going to roll these four die, and we'll see what happens. Uh, right. I got two hits. I got two uh, two successful defends okay. as well. And I got no wild, so I didn't get to push you as well. It builds down to three characters, two of which are dazed. Yep. Uh, Who's holding the scroll? Uh, Spider-Man? Scroll. Spider -Man. Uh, Spider -Man. And Spider-Man is the healthy one. Yes, yeah. he is. Mm. Uh, which is very arguably poor play by my behalf, but we'll figure out what's uh, happening. So here. I have finished my activation. He will gain a... He'll take a damage for From bleeding. bleeding and Alrighty. And he'll... Um, now I'm thinking, do I want to activate Modok? So two on more health left on Spider-Man. Yes. I don't like that. Um, Captain America has six health. I don't think I can kill him very easily. With it's that. real hard. I he killed is. him the other day by throwing two 12 dice Hulk smashes at it. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. And it just it did, did it. Yeah. <laughs> just. <laughs> it did. Range four. I might activate. Uh, no, Modok can't throw Duck. Not yet. Um, all right. Uh, Murdoch no. can throw Doug. Oh, he can, but he can't hit anyone. <laughs> uh, without moving. He also doesn't have the power to simply move and do it. So we're going to activate Crossbones here. Um, we're going to do some pretty cool stuff here. We are going to use uh, Haymaker to the next strike. I have adds three dice to his attack. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just going to use a regular strike. So unfortunately, I'm low on uh, power. So it's five dice plus four. So I'm going to add nine dice in total to my attack. Three, six... Seven, eight, nine. Nine dice against Iron Man. Jesus. Mm. This is a chair? No, this no, is, uh, this uh, is uh, crossbones. Oh. The guy who likes to punch. <laughs> Let's just get it going. We probably don't need to explain everything yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Um, so, just throwing nine dice. I can do a lot of the over commentary. Mm -hmm. uh, skulls! Hit. So many skulls, Bill! Jesus. You're all rolling like so poo. blank, and Max has got a bunch of skulls. Nothing cool. too. Um, so you're going to take one damage to the Iron Man. I'm going to oh gain power. <laughs> I'm going to gain oh, another power. What ridiculous. We're going to be here for like another hour at the rate uh, you guys are rolling. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to roll. I'm going to perform damage. the uh, strike again. Because um, overpower does the same thing. I can throw you actually. I might throw you. So Don't I'm going to use. Me. I'm going to spend this two to use overpower five dice. Mm -hmm. Give myself a wild. No wild. Just that. Roll better. <laughs> 
Uh, so you've you've succeeded in defending okay, that. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Uh, that was Crossbones' turn. All right. Cool. Didn't do much there. Whiffed on nine dice. Feels bad, my it does dudes. Roll Feels real bad. better. <laughs> All right, Modoc, you you bad man. Yeah, uh, yeah you got him. <laughs> the restraint. <laughs> the restraint. What are we seeing here? What kind of attack uh, are we seeing? We're seeing so a I'm going to spend... No, I'm going to spend three power, and by now I say three, I mean two, to go down to six. And then I'm going to spend four power to go down to two. And I'm going to do Unibeam. Oh, right, because he's damaged. Yeah. He's damaged. So this is a beam five, which means you get to attack everybody within range five. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's just Modoc in this situation. Yeah, because I want Six to dice, ruin his day. cost four power, ignores line of sight, and it does. And the defender cannot benefit from cover. Not that those matter right now. But an energy um, attack? Energy attack. Yes. All right. Attack. I have three dice against you. Six, and I have eight dice against you. Let's see. What? So he's using Friday AI to buff that to yeah. eight dice. Friday AI. Uh, yeah, that's what that his um, after Jarvis, his AI is called Friday. My gal Friday. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's okay. cool. I did two damage. Uh, look, I rolled Skull Skull. So oh even if I God. roll a defense off this, he's still actually going to die. We, can we just kick these guys out? <laughs> <laughs> so Modoc is going to take uh, one damage, because that's the most he can take, mm -hmm. and he's going to be dazed. So he cannot take this objective for the oh, turn. No! Can we get some Alrighty. proxies in here to roll dice for these guys? <laughs> now I'm going to activate. Uh, no, he's, he's still gone. Are oh, you still going? I mean, that was one action. Okay, that was cool. one action. Um, so he's going to uni beam again because why not? Without Freddy Air this time. Well, he can't. Hit. Uh, he can't anymore. He's dazed. He, yeah. uh, no, I mean, no, it's crossbones, but he doesn't have the power to do. All right. Uh, so he's going to do Freddy Air. No, he's not going to do Freddy. He's just going to do repulsive blast into crossbones. Cool. Uh, again, energy. He has a uh, two defense against this one. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a wild. So I'll defend against one. Cool, and I'll do two. So cool. one damage. I'll take one and one damage. Yeah, and now when do you trigger your moving back thing? Uh, after attack targeting this is resolved. Okay, yeah, cool. So I push you and then you no, move I come back. back. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, all right, I will now activate Baron Zemo here. Um, he's we'll going to use Master Swordsman to go down to one. Um, and then actually, he's going to do this slightly differently. He's going to perform the Sword Strike ability first. Yep. Um, so he's going to roll five dice at Captain America here. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the Sword Strike attack. Yes. Yep. And we're uh, not using Master Swordsman, or we are? Uh, actually, I can use Master Swordsman for this one. I'm going to use Vibranium Shield. Cool. Go down to one. Yep. Uh, we're going to roll five dice at you. We're going to roll poorly and drop a dice, because that's how it be sometimes. That's a lot of skulls. I'm going to reroll this one from Master Swordsman. I'm going to reroll this one from Skulls Baron are one and eight, right? You guys haven't got weird. No, they're one and eight. Uh, that is two. Uh, skulls yeah, so are one I and eight. I take one damage. <laughs> right, They've been cool. rolling like. I'll gain a power. They're as likely as crits. Uh, what? <laughs> I swear to God, he just rolled like eight. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm now going to use Steel Rush on you because I was kind of. I dealt the damage, so I actually get one. So more. did you reroll twice, Max? Yes, I did. I rolled okay. three skulls. Nice. Um, um, I'm now going to perform. Uh, <laughs> Steel, <laughs> let's roll some numbers on that steel one. Steel rush <laughs> against you for two, six dice. Two power with vibranium shield again. Uh, that's better. Uh, so I'm going to roll two more here because of my explosions. Yeah. Uh, into shields, wonderful. I'm going to reroll one of these because of Baron Zemo's ability. Into a third shield, wonderful. So I've got four hits against you. Four successes. Wonderful. Now because <laughs> I can, uh, after this attack is resolved, I may move a medium. So I'm going to move a medium onto the objective. Yep. Sounds good. Cool. Uh, great. I dealt zero damage on that attack. And Max is currently <laughs> holding one, two, one objective. Uh, I'm not holding this, so this is tied up. So I'm currently holding one objective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Max is no, going to get Iron one Man is, and Bill um, will get two. Mm -hmm. Injured. Uh, yeah, so Crossbones is actually holding this. Yeah. So um, however, you've only got Captain America left. Yeah. And I've still got Red Skull and yeah. uh, just Red Skull, actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, oh, Captain America is going to throw his mighty shield. Crazy, into, right? Uh, let's go Baron Zemo. Yep. Yep. Cool. All right. Three defense dice. I swear to God, if you don't do any damage. <laughs> I'm trying, mate. All right. Hey, 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 two look crits. Look at two that. more crits. Uh, uh, I can roll right. one because of... It's, it's good. Baron Zemo is a defense dice as well. Yeah, cool. So he's going to re-roll one of those. They're not skulls. Let's go so you take, you take three damage? Three damage. All righty. Mm -hmm. I'll gain three power as well. Go to four. Yeah. Take three damage. Um, on and I did Zemo. get a wild in there, so it's going to do an attack on uh, someone within range three, which is going to be... Of Baron, the target. Um, of yeah. the target. Which so you're going to hit Black Widow? Black Widow, I believe. Is, yeah, uh, Red Skull is not within range three. Yep. So I just roll four die. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dice. Dice. And I roll three defense against this. Three. Uh, cool. Three. Four. Take one. Isn't that a shield? 
That is a shield. That is a shield. 3-3. <laughs> three, three, no damage. <laughs> oh, she lives. God. Excellent. Uh, for his second action, he's going to throw his mighty shield at Zemo. Crazy, like, right? Has only got one health left? Yes. Uh -huh. That was a very good save. Uh... Uh, Baron Zemo has I rolled uh, so Black Widow would have added blanks to successes there as well because yeah. she's within range 2 uh, 1 defense 3 uh, so take 2 uh, he gets dazed Yay. Sorry. Uh, he'll go to 6 so Bill why did you not attack again into... I am attacking no but why would you not attack uh, the character on 1 health because, because he's I've... throwing his mighty shield into her right now uh, yeah I got the ricochet the ability cool. I, was, I was banking on that working so now you're so throwing... watching shield throw is a 4 power uh, so 4 range 4 dice attack this one. it has a wild condition called ricochet if, it, if you satisfy that True condition defense. by rolling a wild you get to attack again to another cool. character within range 3 of the original target right. All right. and that's all 1 activation so he has 2 Two actions a turn, so he can um, he can uh, shield. How much health does Spider-Man have? He has the, five in total. He has the range of his. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm now going to activate Red Skull as my final character here, mm -hmm. um, and he has five. Ooh, tough decisions. I might unleash the cube. <laughs> God, <that's laughs> crazy, right? All right, one. Who's he unleashing the cube against? Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. So it's seven so dice. This cube. Three, six, bah! seven. <laughs> Uh, so Come Red Skull is going to throw seven a dice at an energy attack against Spider-Man. He's going to three it's defense. It's more like a yeah. Kamehameha kind of thing. Uh, we're exploding twice <laughs> it's here. Said by a trooper who's never seen that show. No, exactly. It's like this thing. <laughs> Into skulls, great. Um, so we've got three. That was my it. one. <laughs> Into your one. So you'll take two. And get dazed. You'll get dazed and drop it. Or uh, Oh, scroll down. This scroll could be it. Scroll down. This could be it. Pastry uh, down, boys. Pastry down. Five second rule. Max, pick it up. I didn't get the wild. Oh, that's definitely going to happen this turn. So I am... Um, We're going to drop it, buddy. You have to drop it within range two of yourself. Yep. Uh, so it usually goes really far away. Drop it on Howard. Cool. <laughs> drop it on <laughs> Howard. You can. <laughs> the, the 2D nature of this uh, game is actually really good. So sometimes so it creates strange situations where you can... As my second so action, I'm see, going to move a really medium mm -hmm. uh, onto the scroll, spend a power, and pick it up. Nice. So Red this Skull could be now it. has the scroll. You could be it. Shut up. This could cool. be it. Uh, that is all <laughs> characters activated. So end of game phase, Modok's going to flip end over. End of game phase? He's calling Sorry. it now, boys. End of round phase, good. Modok's going to fall over, uh, uh, turn over. He only has four health on this side, so that's very important. I don't think Modok has <laughs> Look how mad he is. He'll cut to this for a second. I think he had one energy. Yes. Cut to the power. Yeah, <laughs> look at his face. Um, cool. Uh, so Black Widow's alive. Baron Zemo got... His chair's malfunctioning. He's holding off his well. dealer. Uh, Alright, Bill, six. do you just want to remove the cards of the characters that aren't in play so we can get a good, clear representation of what's happening? The malfunctioning chair. What, yeah, what's they, they the, what's, what's back the to cartoon me, I'm even... thinking of where the chair just goes crazy? Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there we go. So Bill's got Iron Man, Captain America, and Spider-Man all days, whereas Max has Black Widow... Cool. Sorry, um, injured, so you are correct. Black Widow, Crossbones, MODOK, Red Skull, and Baron Zemo. Only MODOK and Baron Zemo are injured, so yeah. this so turn's going to be very interesting. Max can actually... Like at the end of this turn, some of their uh, Crossbones uh, holds this objective because Iron mm -hmm. Man was dazed at the end of it. Uh, sorry, injured, sorry, and Crossbones yep. isn't, so he's going to get a point from that. Mm -hmm. um, orange. Uh, then here, Captain America was uh, injured. injured, and I have uh, two uh, one healthy character there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to take that one again. Mm -hmm. uh, Murdoch was dazed, doesn't get this one. No one's here. Yep. However, I actually held two uh, the scroll at the end, so I'm going to get another two, another points. two points. So it's turn five, and it's currently seven to 11. Uh, nice. Bill has the initiative. Bill is seven? Yep. Yeah. Seven eleven. What a name. Right. Someone should make a business. And they Damn, could, they could have it open from seven to eleven, and then change it every twenty four hours and make the name make no sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then we all get power as well at the yep. start of it. So, gonna go up into here. What a battle! What a battle! Your battle. Alrighty, Bill, what would you like to activate first? Um, something that makes you die. Um, uh, a little bit of a pickle here. You can definitely try and take out Modok. How's Red um, Skull doing? So Iron Man's on four health remaining. Captain America's yeah. on three health remaining. Right. Spider-Man has full health, so he's... Yeah, which is five. Five on the backside? Okay. Yeah, so Captain America's actually pretty hard to kill with four defense dice across the board, pretty much, plus, except for Mystic. Plus blanks. Spider-Man's going to go first. Uh, he's going to spend two the benefit power to, me to do Weber Pulp. Weber Pulp is crossbones, not Weber Shades, very important. Uh, crossbones <laughs> yeah, here Weber actually kill is going to be very hard for Iron Man to kill, so I'm actually pretty confident on this particular spot. throw a car into Red Skull. You can throw a car into Red Skull. Yeah. It's totally, totally <laughs> respectable. Range three. Picks it up, uh, puts the 10 foot down. Yeah, we, we get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> donk, donk, donk. Uh, so, so it's three. Three so hits you get your physical... against my four defense dice that I've got here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to roll one defense and three hits. So I'm going to take three damage. Oh, you're going to take two. Two damage. Two damage, sorry. Size two plus one, so three. Uh, cool. So I'll go to four. I've taken two damage. Mm -hmm. I'll go to four again. 
I'm assuming Spider Man's probably going to keep attacking Red Skull to try and drop yeah, this he scroll. Might, he might. Why not? Um, so he's going to do. How much does Red Skull on the back? He's got uh, on the back. Oh, sorry, oh, he's no, where he's six. So he's six. He's six. Currently. He's got so he's two got health. Two health left. Yeah. And he uh, will be so dazed. Spider Man's going to do strike, which is five dice. Yep. I've got four defense dice here. Range two. I don't think I've got anything I can really do here. So. Look I would definitely want other characters within range good, two of yeah. him. Oh, oh, you got three oh, crits. Three crits. Uh, well, look, I rolled four defense. That is pretty good. Uh, and two, one more. So uh, so four so into four? Four into four. All right. Red Skull will take nothing. <laughs> we need one can... of you to roll poorly and one to roll well, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, he's going to strike again. Yeah. Wet paper bags, boys. <laughs> all right. Baron Zemo is going to do some things here. Okay, another two crit. That's good. Uh, this one is much worse for me. Okay. So I've got nothing here. And yeah, you've no, got I have five. five. All right, five. so Baron Zemo's actually going to... Sorry, Red Skull's going to take it. He's going to... Get dazed, uh, drop the scroll. Yep, drop the scroll. Feel free to drop uh, it right next to Spider-Man. <laughs> Fortunately, however, Spider-Man has done all his movements. So I get two. Um, we're going to go over to... Uh, look, we're just going to actually put it pretty just far just away. throw it across the universe. <laughs> you don't need to do that. We're going to get... Yeah. This it's is important far to put away from Captain America. America. Uh, you possible. should be greedy and try and throw it towards... Um... Uh, no, because what I'm going to do right now is Baron Zemo is going to kill Captain America. Oh, damn. Um, so that's very words. important. So uh, Baron so Zemo is here. scroll is here for those watching at home who've uh, just like, paid attention and missed it. <laughs> uh, he's going to spend two to use Master Swordsman straight away. Yep. And he's going to spend two to Steel Rush <laughs> as well. <laughs> that's meant to be an arrow. Um, so I'm going to throw uh, <laughs> six dice at you. I'm really bad at this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you missed with all three arrows. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do Vibranium Shield for one yeah. dollar. Um, I'm going to try and give you some bleed tokens, my dude. So six dice. We're going to reroll all of this. Uh, we're just going to reroll that one, and then we're going to reroll it again. We don't need to. So uh, six. You also take a bleed token. Uh, three. So you'll take three. Uh, three. Go to five, and then take a bleed token as well. So at the end of your activation, yeah. you're going to oh, cop it sweet. I'm going to get one back from Red Skull. Action, of course. Yes, of course. Um, I'm going to look at how far Zemo can run here. Uh, not within range one of the target, unfortunately. So you know what's just going to have to happen here? I think he's just going to have to do what he wanted to do all along. Uh, and Heaven forbid. kill Captain America, as we all know, Iron Man's father. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man's uh, father is Captain America. He's going to do the same America. thing here. He's going to master swordsman and then spend all his power to use steel rush and throw yeah, six I'll dice. Vibranium shield again. again. Is Captain America. Yeah. I'd, I'd read that uh, comic. Uh, six dice, re-rolling a ton of this again. <laughs> it's like he makes the shield and just keeps um, it. Two explosions I'll be here, America. so we're going to explode twice. Uh, wonderful, we're going to re-roll this one blank that we missed uh, from Master Swordsman, then once more from Zemo, uh, into a wild, so three, six, seven. Three. All right, <laughs> off my table. Yeah, Captain America fucking... Travelled the world a thousand times I mean, over, fucking... read the book, sent Barky at him, had to do it himself with a damn sword. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, I will get one power back because of Red Skull being Red Skull. Pretty sure none of those storylines actually happened. <laughs> um, <laughs> anything could happen. Bill, you're looking a bit uh, damaged there, uh, A little grim, yeah. We'll maybe. come back to this. There Scott, we go. I would like De definitely wish I had a replay to show what just happened there. The, uh... I would like a judge question from yeah, what do you Scott. Got? So when a character is dazed, mm -hmm. uh, they lose a lot of their passive abilities. They lose all, all their them. superpowers, but not their allegiance ability. Okay, that's very important. Thank you very much. So Red Skull's ability is yes. still active. You're still active. Mm. That's a good question. All right. uh, you have Iron Man left to activate. Yeah. Is he going to attack Crossbones? Because that feels like what he's got. Or Modok, your choice. Yeah. He's going to go with the old, the old Crossbones. Good Crossbones. Cool. Uh, he's going to do Uni Beam. <laughs> Bill, could you win this game? Uh, I no. I don't think it's possible at the moment. <laughs> so Modok's going to sit we, here forever. Don't, you don't have to slug through it to the end if you don't want to. Okay. I'm going to... Uh, we'll finish this turn because I have one activation left sure. and then we'll see how the yeah. score stands. It's currently 7-11 then... and all your characters are dead. Yes. <laughs> so Black Widow is going to do a long, long movement over here and pick up the scroll um, very easily. Um, I'm going to take one, two... Uh, possibly three points unless you can down crossbones right now. So I'll be taking five points Boom. this turn. One. <laughs> You know what? I won't roll the dice. I'm going to just take no, one. No, roll the dice. <laughs> roll the uh, die. I think we're going to call it there. All right. Uh, I, I think we're done, success. boys. I think we're done, boys. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah take that, sucker. Well, internet, Bill lost. <laughs> Bill did lose. <laughs> I think what's important to take away from this is... Uh, hand. Max one. Wait, wait. Do that again. Uh, we missed is, it. We missed it. Do it again. Handshake. There we go. <laughs> so I need you to look at the board very quickly right now. This is the big thing that happened. 
Uh, this man right here went <laughs> uh, <laughs> and just kind of used. It's amazing the fire. that he has a doomsday chair, and that yet he like yeets it miles away. So, I imagine he has really strong abs hidden away in here, and he just kind of like does a crunch. He's got and like just, a like, nine pack. <laughs> fires you in the yeah, face. That's it. Um, I think. Modoc I like to was think he's strong. still in the chair when he hits you. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> It's like a ram. Yeah. Howard the Duck. Beats your face. Yeah. Still Howard survived. Still stands. He survived. Yeah. Doing a cute little Howard the Duck things. Unbelievable. Huh? All righty, we're going to come back to us and you guys are going to pack up. So yep. let's just mute Certainly. them. All right, see you, boys. See ya. See you, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Bill, for playing. No problem. All right, where are we at? Is this us? No. No, that's not us. Hey, us. there we are. So thank you for watching our first sort of Let's Play battle report of Marvel Crisis Protocol. We are loving this game in the store. I've played it almost every day since it came out. If you would like to come in and get like a sort of quick demo, come in anytime. Yep. When we're open, obviously. <laughs> yep. He'll teach you. I will. I will teach you. This is Marcus's first experience. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Oh, Marvel. Characters <laughs> threw stuff at people. Someone it, copped a bugle to the face. It does do a very good job of uh, being self-aware. It knows what it is. It's a superhero game, yeah. superhero battling. Each other. It's, it's, it's very good. I'm a huge fan. I, I'm, I've come from an X-Wing background, things like that. It's, uh, it's similar enough to X-Wing to be, to be sort of competitive and, and, and fun. And also, it's different enough to be its own game. Yep. So I'm a huge fan. Well, we've been waffling for almost an hour and a half. We certainly have. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, more content will be coming for this game and obviously lots of other games that we play. Yep. So, thanks very much. Like and subscribe. Ciao.